This short video demonstrates the paralleling operation of high power rental sets. Step one is to ensure the sets are prepared for operation. The following steps should be taken for parallel operation. Note, the first generator set would have been programmed set one and with the second program set two. Step two is to ensure both units are set to the same voltage. On sets up to 460 kilowatts, a voltage selector switch is provided. For larger sets, a changeover board is provided. Step three is to connect the AC load cables to each set. Black to black L1, red to red L2, blue to blue L3, white to white neutral, and green to green ground. Step four, the interconnecting DC control wires have to be connected between the two sets to be parallel using connection receptacles J2. Step five, if more than two units are to be paralleled, the 120 ohm resistor has to be removed from J3 as demonstrated. The resistor is only used on outside units. For example, on five sets, set one and set five. See the following diagram for the interconnection. Step six, verify the interconnecting black and red wires between receptacles J2 and J2 on each of the sets are connected in identical sequence with CAN-L red wire to terminal 1 and can H black wire to terminal 2. Review the diagram demonstrating the black and red wiring between receptacles J2 on two units and J2 and J3 when paralleling more than two units. Note the removal of the 120 ohm resistor on the middle sets from J3. Note the menu navigation buttons shown with the generator at rest with up, down, left and right arrows for accessing generator and engine status. Press left arrow for generator status. Press right arrow to get generator volts. Press up arrow once for generator current and continue to press and scroll for additional generator readings. Step seven is to connect the external link terminals required for the auto start operation on each set. They are found next to J2 and J3 receptacles. The second set will start automatically when the first set reaches 60% of its nominal output, with an auto delay start of 3 to 5 seconds. In the case of remote start, such as float switch or ATS, these terminals are used to connect the wires carrying the remote signal. Step 8. We now use the DSE 8610 auto start load share module to start and parallel the two units. Turn on control panel activation. Red stoplight will light up. Push auto and auto red light illuminates. Note there's a three to five second delay start from auto start signal. The right green light indicates the first generator is available. The second green light to the left indicates the first set on load. Note the green lights lit show set one and set two synchronized and running in parallel. Note, press red panel button to stop the generator set. For more information on paralleling high power generator sets, review the operator's manual or contact our product support team.